paralyzed pocket right here. As all piece. But there you go. Hi, this is Scott and I am Finding Rocks. Today we are at the Martin Marietta Quarry in Jones Mill, Arkansas. A little bit of what you see in Magna Cove you might see here. Mostly it's a working rock quarry for aggregates, um, or at least that's what it appears to be. Um, I'm on the side of the main pit right now. Mainly what I found here before is purple fluoride, uh, pyrite cubes, and a little bit of egerine. This place is a private quarry, but you can get access here um, based on a few stipulations. Um, I have my equipment, reflective vest, hard hat, safety glasses, and steel-toed lace-up boots. That's important for safety here. Um, you can't go to the rock walls or climb on the berms that are on the side of the wall here. Um, you have to stay safe, and you only get until like 3 o'clock to look around here. If you're a new person and you have a group, you probably need to keep that group between two and four people and you'll be able to maybe make contact with them and get a chance to dig. Usually they like two weeks notice, um, but when I called they said that they needed to call Tuesday before. So just give them a call. Uh, they're really excited to have people come and look and hopefully we find something good here today. Here's my first sign of pyrite on the side of this rock. Every once in a while, you see, I see a, the top of, some, of a rock that has a white, and maybe that's a quartz vein. There's some more of possibly the cyanite, and I'm going to have to spell that out because I don't think I can pronounce it. There's like a little bug right there. It may seem small and insignificant, but there could be some really tiny micro minerals on there. This one has a little bit of a pinkish color to it, so it makes it look a little more attractive. I think I see another piece over here somewhere. I think right here. That one reminds me a little bit of snowflake obsidian. I'm sure that people have cut and polished this at some point. Um, I think they use it maybe for countertops. So. Interesting patterns. I don't know what the black mineral is that stands out. I'm a little worried that I may not find any purple fluoride because I'm not a, not down in the pit. Um, so anything cool like this over here is going to be nice to see. Now this might be a keeper. It's going to be heavy, but I got to keep something really good. And this looks pretty nice. So I think that's a good one.
this is a very big heavy rock as I will demonstrate ah, on the pumpkin <laughs> okay I got to this part <clears throat> I thought about skipping it but then I looked down and this beauty is right here if I can get it up <laughs> okay so it's not a small piece but there you go some purple fluoride here it's not crystal these aren't purple fluoride big crystals or anything but finding anything purple in Arkansas is kind of special I think I spotted my second purple let's take a look right there <clears throat> okay now for my third purple on this larger rock which I assume I won't be able to get Well, I've been looking for white sides because that's where the minerals are growing a lot of the times. This one, you can see some crystals formed in there. I've been walking around for a little while and it's been really hard to find anything um, after I found that last fluoride. It really hasn't been much to find. Uh, maybe a piece with some pyrite on. Uh, this one has a little pink area which I've seen before um, already. It reminds me of some granite, uh, the pink feldspar. Uh, cyanide I guess is a little bit like a pegmatite, I guess. And there might be like a pyrite crystal on here too. I'll keep it and see if I can take a better photo of it later. This could be a mineralized pocket right here. As you can see, very small. I wondered if it was something else, but you see the outline around it and it could be that pocket. It could be just decayed uh, granite type stuff where there's feldspar left. I see in a distance what looks like a little crystal pocket, a little round, it's also small and I haven't seen very many crystal pockets and you've, you've seen the only ones I've seen. So here we go, look at it real quick. This looks pretty cool from a distance. Let me see. Looks like more of that unknown mineral. That's how big it is. Now it's on a big boulder.
as you can see on this boulder there's a line coming across that's the vein of quartz or some mineralization you can barely see it but that's where some purple fluoride is and I see some pyrite so that's why the fluoride really only appears in, in thin layers here's another pocket but it's a lot bigger and impossible for me to get this one out even if I did what am I gonna what am I gonna do with that pocket I have to chip all around it to get it out Whenever you come here, you don't know where you will be placed because of the work that's going on at the time. So you don't you don't know the geology you're going to you're going to encounter. All around here, the geology changes from side to side. You see uh, bedrock and layers going vertical. Uh, you might see uh, on one side some sandstone, and on the other side some cyanite pegmatite. I found some cool uh, rocks that look like a uh, kind of limestone with uh, pyrite octahedrons or pyrite cubes that was really cool but it was just one little spot I walked over that was uh, part of the the road that they uh, flattened out so it's hard to say what's going to be around it, it's good to bundle your trip with another one if you're in the area that's good if you're coming far away like Three hours like I did you may not want to make the trip just for this place but if you have a stop you can go to Magnet Cove which is right next to here um, you can go to um, Hot Springs which is an hour from here um, other quartz crystal sites are probably within an hour an hour and a half definitely doable if you're taking a vacation down here so worth taking a shot at looking at during the weekdays um, you might find something you'll never see again um, again what I think we found today was probably some white feldspar and pockets with uh, edrine <clears throat> it's probably not feldspar just because it looks like it doesn't mean <clears throat> it's what I think it is or in my world it is what I think it is if it looks like it but it's not usually um, edrine needles are growing inside I think there are other um, other minerals that grow and, uh, long needles too but uh, I've seen injury in here before and I think those are what it's going to be when we look at them closer I'm probably going to scrape around a little bit more before it's time for me to go and I hope you enjoyed this video thank you